This is an example of an algebraic equation. Let's identify the different parts. So, I box them according to terms. Let's proceed to the first box. There, as you can see, there's the number 3 and the letter Y. The number 3 is called, is called a constant. A constant is a quantity that never changes. And at the same time, it is a coefficient of Y. And the letter Y you see right here, it, it is called a variable. A variable is a letter that represents an unknown number. Let's proceed. Let's see some examples in this algebraic expression. As you can see, the variables, they are represented in the blue. They're, they are colored blue. As you can see there, they represent an unknown number. Let's proceed to the algebraic equation again. Now, to the second box. The, the minus sign you see right here is called an operator. It can be a multiplication sign, division sign, addition sign, and the minus sign. This number here is a constant. See, and as I said, a constant is a quantity that never changes. And this equals right here, it equates the right side and the left side. And the third box is the number 5. It is also a constant. Now, let's differentiate the algebraic equation to an algebraic expression. Notice the algebraic e equation. As you can see, it have an equal sign. The equal sign only exists in algebraic equation and but there is no equal sign in the algebraic expression the keyword in the algebraic expression is factorize expand and simplify while the the uh, keyword here is solve we solve because there's an equal sign Earlier, I mentioned about terms. Now, let me give you some examples of terms. There. Notice the difference between this and this. As you can see, x and x, they're the same. y and y, see, same. Unlike this one, it's different. x and z, x and n, n and m. Since the, the variables are the same, we call them like terms. And in this other one, since the variables are different, we call them like terms. There. Like terms are terms that contain the same letter variables. Sometimes in algebra, we rearrange terms. And that is called transposition. But why do we do that? We do that to add or subtract the one with the variables and the one that doesn't have. I'm going to give you an example of, of an algebraic equation that needs transposition. So, 4x minus 5 equals 19 plus x. There. And, but, you cannot add... 4x and 5 because 4x has a variable which is x and 5 that does, doesn't have. So, in this case, we transpose. So, we're gonna 4x minus x 
And as you can see there, the plus sign crossed the equal sign, so it became a minus sign. Then equals. Then 19 plus 5. And again, the minus sign crossed the equal sign, so it became a plus sign. There, we can already solve it. So, 4x minus x. And we treat this x as a number 1. So, 4 minus 1 is 3x equals 2. So, 19 plus 5, 24. Now, <clears throat> to get the x only, to remove the 3, we divide this by 3. So, x. Now, since we divide 3 to 3, three we also need to divide 3. So, 24 divided by 3 is 8. Our x is 8. Sometimes in math, we describe an expression with a phrase. They are also called writing algebraic expression and equation. For example, the phrase 2 more than 5 can be written as 5 plus 2. I downloaded some keywords from the internet that might help us what operation are we going to use. Like for addition, sum, add, combine, increase, larger, plus, more, end. Examples are sum of 4 and 5, 3 more than 7, 7 plus 3. And for subtraction, different, subtract, minus, fewer, less, take away, decrease. Example is subtract 2 from 9 and decrease 4 by 4. And for multiplication, times, multiply, per, twice, triple, quadruple, product. Example, product of 4 and 2. 5 times 100. And for division, divide, quotient, half, third, fourth, like 6 divided by 3. Divide 8 in half. Now, I will make my own examples. Our first example is... There. 5 times the sum of m and n. So, it will be written like this. There. Like this. The word sum makes it addition. And the uh, times the multiplication is indicated by this parenthesis another example is the sum of 5 and n there the sum of 5 times m and n so there's the word sum so it's automatically addition 5m plus n there 5m plus n because the word the variable n and for the last example There, 11 more than x. And from the word more, it's automatically addition. There, it's so simple. 11 plus x. Let's proceed to writing algebraic equation. Our first example is 3 more than x equals 47. So, 3 more than x equals 47 can also be written as 
and remember equals the equal sign only exists in algebraic equation and not in expression our next example Difference of y and 14 is 18. It can also be written as y minus 14 is equal to 18. Example number 3. Twice the difference of x and 3 gives 18. And it can also be written as 2 times x minus 3 equals 18. Now let's go for solving for x in algebra. So our first example is So we cannot minus 3x minus 4. We cannot do that. That. So instead we do 3x equals we move the 5 here. Then minus 4 we move it there. We switch minus 4 and equals 5. But the minus 4 will become plus sign. So, plus 4. There. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. Then, bring down 3x. Now, we cannot find the final value when there's 3. So, we need to make it only x. So, 3, 3, then x. There, it's only x equals now, since we divide 3 here, we also divide 3 here. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. X is 3. Example number 2. So, our second example is 2X minus 3 equals 47. Now, again, we cannot minus 2x minus 3. We can't do that. So, we do 2x equals 47. There, we switch, but the, oper the sign will also switch. It will become a plus sign. So, 47 plus 3. So, bring down 2x equals 47 plus 3 is 50. There. Now, we, so now we need to remove the two. We, we need only x. We don't need the two. So we do there. Then it will become only x. Now, so since we divide two here, we also need to divide two here. Two. So fifty divided by two is twenty-five. Our x is 25. Last example. So, 4x equals, wait, minus 14 equals 18. There, we cannot do 4x minus 14 because 4x has a variable and 14 doesn't have. So, instead we do x equals 18 plus 14. There, we just switch places and switch signs. Now we can solve it. So, 4x equals 18 plus 14, 32. So, 32. Now, to, to get the final answer, answer, we divide 4 
by 4 to make it only x because we don't need the 4. So, by 4, so, x. Then, there. Since we divide, since we divide 4 here, we also divide 4 here. So, 32 divided by 4 is 8. There. Our x is 8. 